Hello everyone, my name is Gita and welcome to your Pick a Card reading for this evening. The question for today's video is, what do they say when they talk about me? But just before you go to your timestamps, I just want to let everyone know that when I reach a thousand subscribers, I'm going to start doing live streams. And in those live streams, I'll be doing free mini readings where I'll have cards and you can ask me questions and I can answer them in real time. If that's something that you'd be interested in, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. So not only will you be notified when you get new readings like this, but also when I go live. If there's any questions you would like for me to, to cover in future videos, please leave it in the comment section below. Uh, I think that would be awesome to hear from you and what you would like to see in future videos. Also, please keep in mind that this is a general reading and that it will resonate with some people and it won't resonate with some other people. This is covering more than one person, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If your reading does resonate with you, please leave it in the comment section below. I would love to hear about it. Also, please remember to give this video a thumbs up because it really helps me out a lot. If you would like a more personalized reading, please see in the description below on how you can do that. And also, that's where you'll be finding your timestamps. So, on to the reading. Let me get everything moved around. Let's see. We have, this is pile one, two, and three. And I'm going to take away pile two and three. So I can start with pile one. And I would like to take this moment to thank everyone for such, like, I have like some really nice comments lately and I really appreciate them so much. All right. So this is pile one and this is the sacral, sh the sacral chakra. Ugh, I hope I can talk. I don't seem like I can talk very good today. Hopefully I can enunciate the words well enough so you can understand what I'm saying. All right, let's see what we have. We have the Empress. This is what, what are they saying about you? Oh, of course I put that in the way. We have the Empress. Let's see, I'll let you see it. We have the Four of Earth. I actually want to put those down here. We have Hope. We have emotional withdrawal. And we have moving on. So for some of you, I feel like there's talking about either them moving on or you're moving on. I feel like that uh, there's a larger majority that they feel like they're afraid that you're moving on from them. And they don't, you know, they're, they're afraid of losing you. They feel like that you're emotionally withdrawn and, but they still have hope for you. They haven't given up hope. They feel like that they, they do say that they really think that you have a big heart and that you're giving to those who are less fortunate, but they also feel like maybe for, I think a small portion of you that um that they think that you're too frivolous with either money or I don't know so much I don't know very very tiny portion money but you're you're afraid of change that's the word I'm looking for that you're afraid of changing and maybe that's why they feel like is the issue with you they feel like that's why you're not you're emotionally withdrawn or they feel like that you're emotionally withdrawn from them. They do see you as an abundant person who is good at manifesting your dreams. Like they really think that whether you are or not, they think that you're somebody who is someone who that you are nurturing to others and yourself and and that you can manifest the things that you want in your life fairly easy in comparison maybe to them even if you feel like you don't they think that you do all right this is for pile one and i'm going to pull see if i get any clarifying cards going here i think this is fairly pretty self-explanatory but sometimes if there's something I missed. I don't 
understand how some readers can be like, okay, that's your reading, on to the next one. Either I'm too nosy or I just feel like I haven't given you enough information. I don't know, let me know in the comment section below if you're number one. If you think that I give too much information or enough information, do how, how like do other readers, do you feel like that you get enough information from them when they do like, they pull like two or three cards and they just talk about those and then they move on to the next one? Or do you prefer readers who do use clarifying cards? Okay, so we did get the Ace of Swords. It's not enough to be able to tell anything yet. That can mean a lot of things. A lot of these cards mean a lot of things. So that's when the intuitive part comes in. It's like, also I, I find that even though I know what they mean, sometimes I read their interpretation anyways, just because sometimes a word or two will just stand out to me. And then I'm able to pick up things like that. Let's see, I got the Eight of Wands. I really love these mini cards too. So I can, you can still see what your other cards are and I can put, I can lay out all of these mini cards. This may be someone, for a lot of you, this is somebody either you have fond memories with or that, um, or that you've known growing, from growing up, like from your childhood, you have, or you, they remind you of something from your childhood. Or I feel like there's a small percentage of you where children are involved in the situation. That is a highlight of it. We have the Eight of Swords. got two eights so far. We have the Empress again. So we have the Infant. This is just confirmation of this. And we have the Star, which I feel like is how they see. They see you as the Empress and they're seeing you as like Hope. See the Star? I almost want to move this over here for a moment because I really feel like these go together. It's just like kind of like how if you were like a private reading like this this is what I do pretty often is I'm able to I set up there's people there's readers who have positions and they stick to those positions but honestly I can like see a pattern and then it's something that I'm I think I'm good at I see a pattern and then I'm able to See the, the star is hope. This is this is the star in this deck, and this is the star, and this is the empress, and this is the empress in this deck. See, if people laugh at, at these things, it's it's kind of funny because the probability of having two decks and having and only pulling this many cards and then having the same cards come up is just astounding. Okay, so we have a Six of Swords as well. So they feel like you're moving away from troubled times, that you're having a hard time. But they really see you as somebody that is trying or wants to build a, a firm foundation for yourself. They feel like, um, actually, that you've been giving away your power to whoever it is that you're having this issue with, whatever, or wh whoever, or whatever situation that is causing the negative thing, that this thing that you're moving away from that is negative. They still have a lot of hope for you. This is like a wish. A star is like a wish. It is like a dream come true, a wish fulfillment card, but it's also like a hope card too. 
this one is a truth. I feel like there's a truth. Let me ask to clarify that one. Oh wait, I want to look at something else. I feel like I'm almost... See, we have the Eight of Wands. But I feel like they've been trying to communicate with you about this hope that they have with you. That maybe they're trying to be supportive in the situation. That they've tried to be supportive. I want to look at what is the Ace of Swords about. I feel like that they 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 think that you're overburdened. And you've like like you've spread yourself out too thin that you've taken on too many responsibilities. You have too much going on, too much on your plate. But it's due to not negativity, but to success, possibly too. Let me just throw all the cards everywhere. They kind of just exploded just now. Oh, I gotta clean them up. See if I can find more on this. I have the Four of Pentacles again, which is this card. See, how do you do that? I mean, I didn't pick these out. I just shuffle them and they pop out of the car out of the deck. See, this is the Four of Pentacles, which is the Four of Earth. We have the Empress and the Empress. We have the Star and the Star. Uh, all we'd have to do, here's moving on and moving on. The Six of Swords. This is the Six of Swords. Do you have another one that is emotional withdrawal? <laughs> Not yet, but I'm sure it would come out if I try it a little bit harder. So this is what they're thinking about you. No, one second. Yeah, they really, they feel like you're afraid of change, that you're afraid to lose, like, security. And I wouldn't go as far as thinking that you're being selfish or anything. But that it's more that you're afraid of too much change because you're afraid that you're going to lose something. I think I feel for some of you, you're, you're afraid you're going to lose yourself. That's what they think. They're afraid that you're going to lose who you are as a person. Pretty much what I'm getting it. They're saying about you. They sound like they're just very concerned whether these things are correct or not. It sounds like they're very concerned about you. And I did get the seven of cups. There's like multiple meanings for that, and I feel like it is not a normal one. Like, I don't know. Actually, I feel like they have. This is actually okay. Yeah, uh, okay. I'm having a feeling this is this normally this card. So, there is a tiny percent chance of for some of you that this card will mean it's like a tiny amount of you. This card will mean that they think that you're either like delusional or you have too many choices. But what I think for most of you is that I am feeling that they have, they have a surprise for you. Should I try to find out what the surprise is? Maybe they, I feel like maybe they want, I don't know, maybe a, a gift or something. A good surprise. I'm feeling it's a good surprise. Yes. <laughs> so what comes out? This. This is what that means is a gift. This card, the Six of Pentacles. Look it up. You can look it up if you don't believe me. Look up the meaning. It means to actually give a gift. So that's what they want to do. They want to give you a gift. Okay. 
A gift of love. Some of you is a gift of love. Some of you is a gift of love. This is the Knight of Cups. And I was thinking, do they love them? They also want to give you a gift, like a material gift as well. And then we have the Five of Wands. Uh, some of them, some of them, some of you, they might actually like to play games. Like it might be a gift. This actually, this is kind of seems silly, but some of them, some of you, there's a chance that they might want to give you a gift of a video game or some kind of game or take you to go play game, like take you maybe to an arcade or something like that. Some kind of date maybe with an arcade or, um, I get to see them taking you to go do something fun and to play games with. Let me see if there's a small percent chance. I just, I feel like it's not, they want, they're just trying to bring some playfulness into it. They really actually, and they really feel like they're, that you've been kind of down and they want to cheer you up. And this is what they're thinking. They're planning on all of these things in order to make you feel better about your situation. I feel like a lot of you are maybe in school and you've been overworked and overstressed. Some of you are trying to maybe do a job in school or a job and, and trying to, well, I feel like there's a couple of you who are doing like volunteer work who are just, you're really just out there. You're just trying to do all these different things and and, but they really want to do something to help lighten things up for you and they want to cheer you up. So if you want to know what they're saying to you about, to others is they look like they're planning on doing things with you that are fun and they're concerned about you. So that's all I have for pile one. That's actually pretty nice. I think, I think it's very thoughtful. Um, actually I could be a little bit jealous if this, if this, um, reading resonate with you, please let me know in the comment below. I'd really love to hear about it because this is just so, it just seems so sweet. And if you like this reading, please give my, my video a thumbs up. So I know that you not only do that you like the video, that you would like to see more videos like this in the future. If you would like a more detailed reading, you also can find that in the description below on how to do that. Now I am moving on to pile two. Let's see pile two and my stone fell off there. Pile two and this is the crown chakra. And I always do that to help do timestamps. I can just I can go through the go through it go through the video and get the timestamps easier. All right, pile two, let's see what they have for you. We have heartache and loss. This is what they're saying. What's, what's their person saying about you? The other people is heartache and loss is one. We have fertility. We have partnerships and alliances. We have the world and we have the nine of earth. Whew. Well, some of these are a little bit self-explanatory. Oh, excuse my daughter. I have a four year old. Ships and alliances. Just give me a second. Let me check these other cards while I'm meditating on this one. This one. Hmm. 
this feels like the most of you see you have to understand that when I get the I'm new these readings I'm getting multiple readings and I I have to pick which one is the one that is the most of you and I can do that by by using my inner like using energy and picking up the energy on the situation so I tend to pick the scenario that will resonate with most of you there are some of you who I know there's some who are complaining that oh that you're not saying everything or anything if I sat here and I said everything that came up I would be sitting here all night so <clears throat> but that being said I I have to pick which ones resonate the most with most people and so if my reading doesn't resonate with you it's because you're probably a very small percentage of people that had a slightly different reading, uh, a different meaning. And I would highly suggest going and checking out one of the other videos because I do plan on trying to cover these types of things more and more. So <clears throat> you'll find, I was thinking about actually doing like a series for some, a series of what people are thinking or things that you can do to improve on. I know. Let me know what you think in the comment section if that's something that would be good. Because I want to... I like... I tried... I could do... Honestly, I could put out a dozen different options and still like a dozen different of these stones and have you pick and then still not have everyone covered. That is how many people that it reaches. And the more people my videos reach, the more, the more scenarios I will get. So... That being said, I'm going to stick with with what is going to resonate with the most of you. And then if I pick up some stuff that I think that should be said to the small majority of you that resonates most of it. And then they have a couple of little things I'll mention those. So for a majority of you, I feel like that they are in a relationship with you. Partnerships and alliances. And that they really thought that actually they thought that the relationship was perfect they thought it was very abundant like that they are feeling like a heartache and loss with you so maybe oh, some of you work up or you're in separation and then there's going to be some of you <clears throat> who um other they think that your your heartache and loss is from maybe a third party and you're having difficulty getting over that with them. I do have clarifying cards though, so I'm going to start using those here. Sorry for going off and talking. It's going to make me lose my voice. <clears throat> Alright, so let's see what the clarifying cards have to say. saying that there is a small majority of you who they're saying that they think you're a fool if the if it was the scenario where you are still hurt by the other person the third party the people in the third party situation they think that that you're they don't they think you you are like the fool and then the majority i think the the people who are a more of the majority they they feel they feel like they have taken a leap of faith with you. And they're hurt by the negative outcome. Yeah, they have the queen of, the queen of cups here. They really felt like they tell people that they're basically just talking out their feelings with people. That's what I'm seeing. I feel like some of you might be 
masculine in this reading or the male of the situation either way somebody is in a leadership role they're either saying that you're in a leadership I think they're saying that you're in a leadership role and that you are the queen of cups for the ones who are female or there's the ones who have a third party situation and the third party situation that they're heartbroken over is in a leadership position and I feel like that they took advantage of that They're trying to say that there's a decision that needs to be made. I got the two swords. Let's see, a decision. I'm going on to the third party one. So that a decision needs to be made. And then the ones who aren't a third party. See, I'm trying to do two readings. It's too hard. It's so hard. It's kind of hard to do multiple readings at the same time. There is some people that they're feeling like they have to make a decision and then the ones that are third party is that you have to make a decision. I'm sorry if this confuses a lot of you. Just try to follow it along the best you can when it gets like this. Not all of my readings turn out like this. And we have the four of wands. I feel like one of the decisions that you have to make is actually like them, I feel like they see themselves as this four of wands. They see themselves as a really awesome future to have with them. They see themselves as the person that you should have been, that you should be with and that you should be happy to be with them. I got the Queen of Wands. I think that they are telling people that you, they think that you're, you're well, you're like well liked. Let me try to get the right words for this. That you're beautiful and charismatic and you're very confident. I'm still getting, yeah, I'm confident. And that can also mean they might be telling some people that you're sexy. But for some, it'll be just beautiful. Depends on who, who's talking, what their personality is like. So we have the Ace of Pentacles. I feel like they want to they want to give you something smaller. They have a small uh, an idea that, that it's still to come but needs to be grasped. I have the six of wands. I see you as like a popular person. I'm feeling like someone who is well liked in their peer group or even a bigger than that. We have the nine of swords, which is that they, they think that I'm going to go back to the majority reading now where it is um it's not the third party situation that they want to be with you because i feel like the majority of you is not the third party i feel like maybe like 25 percent of you has the third party and i feel like maybe like 65 percent of you or more or actually maybe a little bit more maybe like 85 percent wait that doesn't math right <laughs> 
Oh my god. 75%. So like 75% of you, I feel like that, um, they're feeling like you should be with them, that, and they're heartbroken about the situation. I'm just trying to think. Gotta I gotta find out why. I got the Ten of Pentacles. I feel like you're going through a cycle or they think that you're going, you're completing a cycle. Why are you? I did get this. There hasn't been as much communication. What is going on here? I think other hurt. Maybe, maybe you're not even intentionally doing this. I don't know. I feel like for some of you, this should be upright and this should be reversed. This is so I'm getting torn up in this. This reading is tearing me apart. It's tearing me different directions. That's flash communication. Sometimes I like to take the tarot cards and if it's something about communication, turn it up to kind of like, no, we were having communication. I was like, I feel like that I can manipulate the energy to have communication if there's a lack of communication or if communication's not working out as well then it might help communication I got the seven of wands I feel like they feel like the ones who don't have a third party situation, I feel like that they, they're, I don't know, it could actually apply to both. They're looking for an apology. They, they want, they want an apology from you. But I think, yeah, there's some that they do want to apologize to you. Maybe they said something they shouldn't have said. I'm trying to figure out why. I think that a lot of them said they have, like, they said the wrong thing. I'm feeling like there's a lot of people who said the wrong thing. They kind of got the foot and mouth syndrome. I'm going off on the people who are not in the third party situation. They said the wrong thing. And I think they want to apologize. And then there's some of you that... That, um... It, it just turned the other way. So it could be either one. Either you said said the wrong thing and it's caused a problem or they have said the wrong thing and it has caused like a rift and they, they do want to fix things. They want to apologize and fix things. Then I got the Eight of Cups. feel like and part of it is due to one or both of you having some kind of inner turmoil and depression which contributed to the mistake that was made I mean we're not perfect I mean everybody makes mistakes everybody gets stressed or something you say the wrong thing doesn't mean we should give up on everybody because we're all gonna do that sometimes and they want to bring balance back into the situation this is the two of Pentacles You really desire to bring balance back into the situation. I think this situation can this this scenario this thing that I'm saying can be applied to everybody. 
actually want to bring up that. I mean, some of the ones with the third party situation might be wanting, seeking for an apology as well. They're seeking an apology. The ones that who they think that they think that you are seeking an apology. The ones who are in a third party situation, they think that you're seeking an apology. They're talking about you wanting an apology from the person in the third party situation. And we have the King of Swords. King of Swords is very is it intelligent, direct, witty, like a very into thinking with their mind more than their heart. I think that it's trying to say that they're They're trying to say that you're up in your head about that situation if you're in the third party situation. Oh my gosh, this is so confusing. I'm going to finish this up. It's getting confusing for you guys, not for me. But they do... The person who they want to they want to fix things with, they want to give you a gift... They have the Six of Pentacles. They want to give you a gift. And they, they're, they're launching long-term plans with you. And those are the things that they're saying about you. I'm sorry. There's two scenarios with this one. It's confusing, I know. And I'm apologizing if you can't quite follow this one very well. But please try. And please try to understand. I'm trying to read for multiple people. If, this, if you like this reading, please give my video a thumbs up. So I know that you would like to have more content like this. If you would like a more detailed reading, you can see how to do that in the description below. And if you would like to be notified of any future readings, you can also hit the subscribe button and then also hit the bell notification. And I'm also going to start going live too, in case you miss me saying that. And when I do that, then you'll be notified as that of that as well. All right, moving on to pile three. There's pile three with the throat chakra. Let's see what pile three has. We have emotional loss. I feel like I'm getting a lot of, I'm not gonna lie to you when I do these readings. I'm telling you what's going on. I'm not just pulling these out. We have discontent and boredom. I hope you guys don't get mad at me too much when I give you negative readings. I'm getting some negative readings the last couple days. Solitude. We also have Queen of Air, which I am feeling is majority. That's how they see a lot of you. And the Two of Air, needing to make a decision. So let's find out what are they saying about you? I feel like that they think that they feel like that you're bored with the situation and that you're seeking solitude and that they're suffering an emotional loss. See how they're in this in this picture how they're holding their heart. This is them, I feel like. I feel like they're miss that they're they're suffering an emotional loss with you, and that they miss you. Basically, I think a lot of you will be in separation in this in this scenario. I feel like they see you. They tell people that they are seeing you as very independent, experienced, and realistic and witty person. 
and it says, I feel like this description that goes toward you, objective decision making, clearly clearing away all that no longer serves you and seeing the humor in a situation. But they also saying that to people that either they need to make a decision or you need to make a decision. Being unable or unwilling to make a decision is a stalemate. Um, pretending there's no problem. So some of you, I feel like that they feel like that you're kind of putting on a brave face or that you're, you're making a, a mask of some sort. They feel like that you're like, maybe you're saying that you're fine and you're not really fine about something or, you know, or there's something going on in the situation and you're not really wanting to address it. All right. I got my clarifying cards. Let's see what we can get. Let's see what we pick up. I really like this deck a lot. I really like this deck a lot. And I think about, um, you know, getting a bigger version of it. For some reason, it just really works with me. Let me know in the, in the comments below if you really like this, this artwork. This is the deck that I'm using to, as clarifying cards. Let's see if you can see that. So, I really enjoy the artwork on this. So we have Justice. Who? Alright, I'm not going to touch that one yet. I don't have enough information. That could mean a lot of different things. has to do with this decision that needs to be made. You have strength. Um, I almost feel like that should be here. comments below if you like it when I try to actually find out more about your reading by doing clarifying cards or if you'd rather just have the simple the simple just explain these cards and not use the clarifying cards and I know that some readers don't bother using the clarifying cards it does make the video longer but I think it's better for for you guys that's what I'm doing it for we have the Queen of Cups and we have the Five of Wands that doesn't have a home yet. I kind of have a weird way of doing <laughs> of doing this I think because I'm able to feel the position of the cards we're supposed to be in. I feel like I get more out of it. Also, I get a lot of repeat cards. That wasn't my yeah, but Too many cards fell out. I get a lot of repeating cards. Like, number one, if you just want to see an example of what of what that's like, I actually pulled in this, with this deck, exactly what all of these works. So for, like, maybe one card, I pulled their exact, their exact reading again. We have the Eight of Cups. I feel like that is some of the issues they're talking about. I have the Ace of Cups. Go 
goes here. Strength. I feel like they they think they feel like you find strength in solitude. For a lot of you, this might be someone that you've known from your past. You've known them before, or you have fond memories of, or children could be involved in this situation. I feel like there's a mixture of all of those things, but I feel like there's a large majority of you that they're either, they are remembering having fond memories of things that you've done together. <sighs> they think that you have strength, that you find strength in solitude. Like, maybe that you go off and be alone when things aren't going quite right. I'm just trying to find this content and blow them. Which that is the four of cups. Normally. And then the regular turret. Okay, so, like, I think they might be saying about you is, this is odd. Okay, so, I'm feeling like, okay, a lot of you, it's, like, an issue with, um, it's an issue with your purpose in life. Maybe, like, I feel like that you're not bored of them. You're having to choose between what you want your, 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 um, purpose in life to be. And that might be tied in with them as well for a lot of you. I have a page of cups. I feel like this goes over here here because, alright, so, if the justice, take care to maintain your ethical balance. Any move you make now will have consequences. Act for your highest, act for the highest good. Okay, in this situation, just as a thing, when you're making this decision, and I'm sure you know what it is, for those of you having to make the decision, make sure that you do act for everyone's highest good, or there will be negative consequences out of the situation. They feel like that you're a challenge and that for some of you, I feel like that you've been either depressed or going through something and that is partially why you've been bored and having discontent. You're just not, you're kind of feeling blah. They feel like that you're, or you are feeling, or they're feeling like that that's what's going on. But they do love you. This person loves you. And they not only have love for you, a new love for you, they also want to tell you about it. They want to come forward and let you know about it. I don't know if they've done that yet or not. But if they have it, they will. At least so far. have the Queen of Swords again, which is what this card is. The Queen of Air is the Queen of Swords. And then we have a Six of Wands. The Queen of Swords is also a direct, like a blunt person who says what they're meaning. They say what they mean. They're direct and honest. And truthful. That's something they're telling other people that people about you.
See, it says, one who wields quiet power behind the scenes may be more dangerous than is easily perceived. So I, what I'm getting from that is they don't want, they feel like they're someone that you should not be underestimated. They really feel like that you're someone who is powerful. You have a lot. Oh boy. <sighs> I feel like you're someone who's also well known and trusted in your social circle. Or you gain the trust of others easily through your being so direct and honest. Then we also have the tower. I feel like that is about them. But I don't know why. Let me know in the comments below why. Why are they having this issue with you? Why do you think that they're having this issue with you? I feel like they, for some of you, they'll feel like that you're having a tower moment and you're changing. And then some of you, some of you, it's, it's. They're, they're having a tower moment because they're losing. They feel like they're losing you. So I'm hearing a little bit for some of you, they're a little bit afraid of you. They're afraid of losing you. They're feeling vulnerable to you for sure. don't they will soon when they come and tell you that they love you but if they did tell you that they love you they don't want to lose you they see you as a queen of cups too they see you as an emotional um empathic loving giving person That's all I'm getting. That's all I'm getting for this reading. That's all there is for pile three. I'd really like to know more about this scenario, but I could probably sit here and pull cards all night. <clears throat> if you if you're willing to share, please let me know in the comments below why it is that you feel like this is going on. This is a little bit confusing. Alright, well thank you very much for your time and thank you for watching my video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. So I know that you, if you, especially if you would like to see more content like this in the future. Also, um, please subscribe and hit the bell notification if you would like to be notified of future videos. If you would like a more personalized reading, you can see how to do that in the description below. Thank you very much and have a good night and good luck on your situations. God bless.